Hi everyone, I'm Dave Mulvaney here with Mike Godwin. Uh, we're going to be previewing this week's games in the A Division. Um, just a reminder, uh, some of the schedule has changed, the games at Tattnall, not all of them, just, just a few, so make sure you get on there, um, get on there and check the schedule uh, for your times, because uh, they just changed yesterday is when they were, they were changed, um, and yesterday was Wednesday. So, I think we changed them Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday. Might have been Tuesday. <laughs> um, so Mike, first up, we have STP going up against Wilmington Legends. Wilmington Legends are on a roll right now, Mike. Yeah, the way the, the timing of this game could make this the game of the week. Wilmington Legends yeah. is in. STP scoring with the best of them. I'm excited about this game. Yeah, it's a good one. It's going to be a tough test set for Wilmington Legends. They're a great team, but it's going to be a tough test. Yo, ST, STP is... Is a top an elite yeah. team. Yeah, they have about four or five guys that can score. About five. and Dorsey and Dorsey both <laughs> to get that Dorsey <laughs> and Dorsey. Yeah, I mean they yeah, can they, just score thirty a game if they want to. Yeah, Danny, Demond Vance, Cleo Brewer, C.J. C.J. Brown, Dorsey. There was rumors that before the season started, C.J. Brown was going to take his talents to the Legends. Yeah, there was rumors. So, you know, that's a revenge game for the I, Legends. I think the Legends, you know, if CJ's, if CJ's on a, tries to go the whole, I, I don't doubt that they might give him a little something extra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not encouraging that, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, it, happens that, it happens in basketball. It happens in basketball. Part of the game. Part of the game. Who are you going with in this one? I'm going with STP, but it's going to be very close. I mean, like, a four point game. Wilmington Legends played triple threat the first game of the season. Now, I know it was Wilmington Legends' first game, but triple threat has a lot of three-point shooters, just like STP. And triple threat just shot the Legends out of the gym. Mm -hmm. Now, this is good because it's on the smaller, it's on the backcourt, so it's a smaller court. Uh, so that helps the Legends a little bit as far as, you know, defense goes. Um, but the Legends, the Legends, Go on, they're on a win streak right now. They're going to go with four. I think STP four is two. Four in a row? Four in a row. STP is what, three and one? They got eight. Yeah. I think both teams are three and one, right? Yeah. So, this is a huge game. I can't argue with that because they're both, both teams are playing well. But. Well, it's going to be STP. Um, yeah, they can get to the basket. They can hit the three-point shots. Um, they, have, uh, they have Aaron, who's their big guy underneath. Yeah. But... Wilmington Legends, they have Gene Deladon and, uh, and Mike. They have some big guys, too. Yeah. Mike Jordan. Yeah. The only thing that's going to... The Legends need someone to score with them. Elena's coming off a 20-point game. I mean, they're going to need a big game out of her and pretty much everyone else, I guess. Yeah. But, but I don't know. It's just going to be tough. It's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be close. It's gonna to watch be it. tough. And you know, Danny's gonna be coming over the scores table saying it's not close. Stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. point the scoreboard at us, but we'll, well, that may not at you because you picked them to win. Yeah, we'll get a another picture of him talking to the refs or something. <laughs> That's what he does half the game anyway. Yeah, he Danny, does. he put up a picture yesterday. Yeah. Did you see? <laughs> oh, he put the picture. I I had one of the pictures. Yeah, he put it up and said, "I hate refs." <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Fire Squad going up against WSI. Mike, is WSI back? They were on a losing streak, 0-3. That's a great win for them. Then them they man. just beat John Double Monkey this past overtime. weekend. Double overtime. You missed the thriller. You might have called it in the video, but you missed it. Yeah, I did miss it. It was a good game, physical. Very physical. Now we have Fire Squad, who... Like WSI going in the last week had not had a win yet. Is this Fire Squad's week? No. No? They're too WSI is too big for Fire Squad. Yeah. Fire Squad does need a little more size. Mm -hmm. Maybe for next season they can add a couple big bodies. Because yeah. the deadline's passed now. Alright, it is passed. But yeah, I'm going WSI. A bet's the bet's too big in the down low. RJ's too big down low. Was was Mike Hubbard, was he fired up after this win? Yeah. They got a lot of firepower on this team. Did the fans rush the court or anything? I did. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Evan? Did it happen? No, Evan wasn't he wasn't impressed <laughs> with the win. 
But yeah, I'm going uh, WSI by 12. Yeah, I think WSI uh, turns us into a little win streak now, late season run. Um, they're going to win this game by by 15. 15? Yeah, 15. Now, does two, is two a win streak or is three a win streak? Well, I, because the season's so short, I call two. I call two a win streak. Two's a win streak. Yeah. If it's like a 30-game-plus you know, 30, 30 season, then I think you have to at least win three for it to be a streak. Next up, we have Drunk Monkey going up against Elite. Elite is another one of our teams that has yet to get a win. Drunk Monkey coming off a tough, yeah. heartbreaking loss to WSI. So, how many? Double. Double overtime. Did I call that in the I think I called that in the last you video. You probably said it for a, a call, game. I called it in the last video. That game. We didn't do a video last week. So That's I true. <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> um, I don't think this one's going to be close either. Do you think Trump Monkey... At least, did, did Antonio use our video from two weeks ago as... He must have. Yeah. It's my brain right on the, the big long thing that we disrespected. Him. Yeah, yeah. Well, he said what they're gonna, you know, they're gonna hold triple threat under like ninety or something. Well, I guess they did. They didn't play. They didn't play. They yeah. held him to zero. Yeah. Does Lee have a chance against Drop Monkey this week? No. Not if, not if everyone's there for Drop Monkey. Yeah, I feel like at least just missing like. They're missing Maybe an elite like a, score. Yeah, I think that's what it is. They they have some they have some good scores, but in the A division, you need someone who's like your go-to player. You look at the top teams; they all have two and three elite yeah. scores. So yeah, you're you're probably right. That is probably what they're missing. Um, or you have teams that just have like ten people on the team that can just shoot threes the whole time. True. Yeah. Yeah, I think Drunk Monkey is is gonna uh, is upset about their loss, and they're, I think plus Drunk Monkey the they can easily put up. 80, 90, 100 points in games. Yeah. And I haven't seen a league do that yet. Yeah. So I'm going Drunk Monkey by 15. Yeah, I'm going to go Drunk Monkey by 10. 10? Yeah. Closer than you. Yeah. Uh, well, I, Elite, they're they're a good defensive team. They don't give up like a ton of points. Yeah. So, I know I said Triple Threat was going to put up like 200 on them a couple weeks. Actually, I said they were going to hold them under 100. Yeah, you said like 99. 99 or 97 or something. I called 110, I think. Yeah, that, we'll have to do well, that wouldn't happen this past week. Triple threat at 110. Yeah, did, did they end, is that what they I ended up with? So. I think the game ended early, too. So I was right. Exactly. Yeah, something like that. Next up, we have ACC Dream Team going up against Brothers. ACC Dream Team versus Brothers. Brothers just played the crew this past week. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, Tony Washington's old team. So I thought maybe Tony was going to lead him to victory. Didn't happen. He had 20 points, though, I think, didn't he? Yeah, but it wasn't enough. Mike, this is going to be a good game. It's going to be physical, quick, and a good game. Who do you like in this one? I'm going Brothers by four. I'm going with the Dream Team. I'm going ACC. ACC by four. Right. So eight yeah. point swing. Yeah. One way or the other. Yeah. Simple. Simple. Uh, next up, we have the crew going up against Triple Threat. This is going to be a good game. Yeah. You got good defense versus shooters. Crew, or uh, Triple Threat, like you just said, coming off a 110 point game. Yeah. I don't think the crew has ever given up over like 90 points, ever. Yeah. Might even be lower than that. Yeah, might even be lower than that. They take pride in their defense. And that wins championships, right? Yep. Yeah. They had the last two. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm going the crew. Going the crew on this one? I'm going the crew. I just have a feeling Nate. Nate's not going to be there this weekend. Just have a feeling. What? How can you have a feeling someone's not going to be there? Because I don't Do know. Do you know? Did someone say Nate can't make it? I just feel like he has dinner with his family or something like uh, that. Nate, Nate will be there for this one. Nate's not going to miss this game. Um, Actually, the crew did knock him out last season in the playoffs. It, you know what? I, I just, it's hard to think that 
they're going to beat the crew. Um, but at the same time, Triple Threat, uh, they're clicking on all cylinders right now, too, just like the crew. Yeah. So, just gut feeling. They're becoming one of the highest scoring teams, like, ever. Yeah. They're up there with Shooters Club right now. Yeah. Not many teams score 100. Average 100. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with Triple Threat. Yeah? Yeah. All right. How much? What's the score going to be? Yeah, how many I, I think the score. score I'm interested I, to see how many you get. I, I think Triple Threat's going to have to score over seventy-five to beat the crew. Mm -hmm. I, 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 and I, I can see them scoring over seventy-five. No disrespect to the crew, but when they have that many shooters. Yeah, I mean it's tough to guard. But if they're missing, they might not. They're score not missing. Forward. We don't know they're missing anybody. No, I'm saying missing their no, shots. Missing their shots? No, not all. They might not all score over forty. All of them. We mean all. Jake, Nate, Brendan. Um, the list goes on. And on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the list goes on and on. But they're like the, they're like Duke Blue Devils used to be. Live and die by the three. Julius Gray. Oh, yeah. He he hits a bunch of threes. Yeah, but they live and die. Duke used to do it. Well, I'm saying that they're gonna lift this one. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm saying they're dying this week by the three. <laughs> Crew is tough on defense. This mm -hmm. is gonna be a tough game. Uh, no, it's here too. It means I don't even get to sit watch it. Yeah, I do though. That actually changes a little bit. I'd rather triple threat on the big court. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna change my pick. I'm just not gonna Floor do spacing. that. Yeah, crew. I the you know the court like hack is perfect for the crew because it's. Small court, so it even makes it easier on defense yeah. to cover. All right, our final game in the A division Tigers going against the best squad. Mike, I am a firm believer right now that the best squad is the best team in the A division. That's why they're named, like, that's why that's their name, right? Uh, no, it's <laughs> brothers establishing success together. Yeah, but same thing. Is the Tigers going to have their whole team there? Who knows? I, mean, enough Who knows? Could, I saw this past week they didn't have very now many guys there. Won't be wild of stands, I think. <laughs> so, I, I, I agree with you. Best squad's a top the, team. The best team right now? Right now, I think they're the best team. Or are they the only team that hasn't, hasn't lost yet? Has the crew lost? Yeah, the crew lost to Drunk Monkey. Oh, yeah. Has uh, Triple Threat lost? Yeah. Okay. So. I think so. Check the standings. Check there. there. Right. Well, I wasn't, you know. All right, let me throw the last game. We can check the standings. standings up real quick. I'm trying to think. Oh, Mike. Guess who's back this past week for the best squad? Your favorite yes. player. I almost didn't recognize him. Had a haircut. No more dreads? No, they're going. They're going. Oh, man. So it caught me off guard He's a back, bit. though. I can talk about him. I used to talk about him. He'd never show up, but now he's back. Well, the team made sure I knew that he was back. Uh, now, is Derek going to come one out of every four games? Yeah, he's not your favorite player. He's mine. No, no. But, you know, I've, I've been asking about him all, all season. Well, I'm glad he's back. He's back with a vengeance. He's going for a triple double in this game. Yeah, you. Well, he he can. Don't look at me I'm like doubt. I'm stupid, but no, I don't. I don't doubt that at all. Uh, he's going for a triple double. Okay, I'll have to believe you then. Uh, right now, the best squad is the only team undefeated. Yes. So that settles that. Everyone yeah. else has at least one loss. Wow, it's it's um it's shooting up to be. It's wide open. I'm telling yeah. you. They got Reds. Yeah. Add Reds with their Savage. I don't know if anyone can stop Reds in the post. No, I don't think so. I don't know if anyone can. I've only seen them play like two games, but I can agree with that. Maybe Turk, but Turk's not here. <laughs> There's only one phone call away. There's <laughs> only one phone call away. All right, that, uh, that'll wrap it up this week. Our predictions in the A Division. Thanks for uh, checking us out. We'll see everyone on Sunday.